Hi, my name is Claire Collins and I'm in my final year of my PhD which is on field emission from carbon nanotubes. So field emission is the emission of electrons into a vacuum under an applied electric field and the carbon nanotubes provide the source of the electrons. So I've spent a number of hours in different labs, so in clean rooms I've made a number of different shapes and lengths um, to be able to test the underlying physics of the process. I've also spent a lot of time obviously analysing the data and collecting the data in my own labs with our custom built machinery. So I'm very nearly finished my project and I have a job to go to um, in industry and I'm going to train to be a patent attorney when I'm finished. I've published one first author paper and I think five other uh, papers that I'm named on um, during my three years as a PhD student and this has taught me a number of skills. Firstly, it's taught me to be able to write in a scientific manner and in a way that is consistent with the scientific community, which is a very important skill. It's also given me exposure to the reviewing process, so it's been great for me to be able to learn how to defend my work and be able to take criticisms. As part of the MRES, you start at the same time with a cohort of people. In my, I think there were seven of us, and you get to spend a lot of time with these people from being in lectures, from being in labs. You do labs with one or two other people from your year. Um, so you work together both in the lab and then on the results and the analysis. Uh, we spent a lot of time, we had our own minibus, so we were up and down the country. We went to lectures in Cranfield, uh, we went to a trade show in Bristol, and we went to, even went to a conference in Croatia together for a week. So you really get to bond, and the friendships you make in your cohort are kind of, you don't really get those friendships anywhere else. So Cambridge, as well as being a very beautiful city, is obviously a well-known hub of academia and uh, innovation. There are a huge number of perks to living in Cambridge. There are so many societies you can get involved with. If you're interested in entrepreneurial or startup kind of stuff, you can get involved in that. There's loads of opportunities. If you're interested in drama or sports, there is an absolute plethora of activities. One of the other great things about Cambridge is that it attracts the top people in any field. So there are a number of talks around the city that are free to go to and you can just turn up to anything you want. So I think that a work-life balance is very important and so I've really made the most of my time here at Cambridge. I started a few new sports, so I started rowing because it's Cambridge and everyone should do that at least once and I was quite good at it so it was fun. I also joined my college netball team and I started Latin ballroom dancing this year which was really fun as well and got to go around the country competing. The engineering department has a great um, language unit um, and it's free, so I took up German because I never managed to do that at school, so I did that this year. Um, I also got really involved in my college um, students' union, so there's plenty of opportunities to do anything you want, really, and I really think that it's a good idea to get in involved in as many things as possible. And if I can finish my PhD in less than three years and do all that stuff, then it's definitely possible.